Hey there, I'm Jessica, and this is Bookshelf to Big Screen. Today, I'm talking about the graphic novel The Umbrella Academy by Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba and the 2019 series adaptation. There are currently two seasons of the show, and there's a lot of information to cover, so I'll be breaking it up into parts. This is part two, which will cover the last five episodes in season one. You can watch part one here. Real quick, if you want to avoid any spoilers, watch for this. I'll have it up during any revealing parts and in the event you want to wait and watch or read for yourself, you can just skip forward until it's gone. The story is about seven kids with superpowers who were adopted by an eccentric old rich guy who turned them into a crime fighting team called the Umbrella Academy. The show actually keeps a lot of the same story from the comics, but it's not exactly in the same order. Various information from Volume 1, Apocalypse Suite, Volume 2, Dallas, and Volume 3, Hotel Oblivion make it into Season 1, so I'll try to be clear about where in the comics I'm referencing when I'm talking about it. Episode 6 in the series takes us through Klaus's trip back in time to the Vietnam War. When Klaus escaped from Hazel and Cha Cha, he stole their time travel device and ends up in 1968 Vietnam. He becomes a soldier and falls in love, but the man he loves dies in the war. This is the reason he is grieving when he comes back to the future. In the comic, Klaus does travel back in time to the Vietnam War, but it happens in Volume 3 and Diego and Luther are with him. It's actually Diego who is fighting as a soldier for two or three years, saying this was the only place crazy enough for him to do his thing. And he's the one who seems to have an emotional connection to that past. Luther spends these years hiding out in the jungle to clear his head. Klaus has a baby that really isn't explained in any way, and there's vampires and a mummy. This change to the series was one that I could really get behind. I think this storyline was so important for Klaus's character, and even though, for me at least, he was already one of the most likable characters, seeing the love he found and the loss he suffered made him all the more endearing. In the show, Klaus is knocked out while trying to deal with Luther, who is having an existential crisis, and he dies and goes to heaven. God is a little girl riding a bike in a forest, and she tells him that someone is waiting for him. Klaus thinks it will be David, the man he fell in love with, but it's actually his dad. Hargreaves tells him that he killed himself to bring them all back together to save the world, but just as he's about to tell him something really important, Klaus is brought back to life and wakes up. In the comic, Klaus goes to heaven and talks to God in volume 2. Even though God here is a cowboy riding a horse in the desert, I think the series did a good job of mirroring this part to get the look and feel of the comic and the conversation he has with God. However, in the comic, Klaus does not talk to his dad in heaven. It's not even until volume 3 that Klaus is able to conjure him for just a moment when he possibly overdoses. In the show, at the beginning of episode 10, we get a glimpse of Hargreaves' past and a look at where he came from, which doesn't exactly look like any place on Earth. In the comic, it's revealed right at the beginning of Volume 1, that Hargreaves is an alien. Okay, it's finally time we talked about Vanya. From the beginning, we understand that Vanya is different from the others. She's not special like they are. They make her feel unwanted. In Episode 5, we start to see something happening as she plays the violin during an audition after she's been off her meds for a while. We discover she actually does have powers, and they are getting stronger. When Vanya tells Allison she has powers, 
Allison reveals that when they were little, their dad made her use her power on Vanya so that she wouldn't believe she had any powers. Vanya does not take that news well. Desperate, Allison attempts to use her power, which she has successfully avoided until now, on Vanya. But Vanya lashes out with her bow, slicing Allison's throat. The comic really doesn't spend a lot of time hiding who Vanya is. When we first see her as an adult, she's called to an audition at the Icarus Theater and promised revenge. After she auditions, the conductor of the Orchestra of Verdampton says he wants her help in destroying the world. He says he's written a piece called The Apocalypse Suite, which, if played right, will destroy the world. She initially refuses to help him and leaves. She tries to tell her family about the conductor and his plans, but Diego doesn't give her a chance and sends her away. In the show, Vanya has been seeing a guy who has ultimately been working to take down the Umbrella Academy by unleashing Vanya's powers. She didn't believe Allison when she tried to tell her, but she finds her dad's journal in his things. She confronts him, and he tries to tell her why they need to be working together against her family, but she disagrees. Vanya heads back to the academy to say that she's sorry, but Luther is mad about Allison, so he decides to lock Vanya up, even though Allison doesn't want him to. Vanya does not like that, and her powers kick in to overdrive. She escapes and starts destroying the mansion. Pogo confronts her, and when she finds out he knew about her powers, she kills him. Nearly everyone escapes before the building falls, but Mom is unfortunately left inside. In the comic, after Diego tells her that she's not wanted, Vanya goes back to the conductor and agrees to help him. The conductor reveals that he has Hargreaves' notes on Vanya and that she's the most dangerous in her family. They operate on Vanya in order to make her shine, turning her into the white violin, which is her codename in the comic. She immediately turns on the conductor and takes charge of the orchestra, with the goal of destroying the Umbrella Academy and then ending the world. At the Academy, Vanya starts destroying the house, destroys Ben's statue, and kills Pogo. Mom is not killed during Vanya's destructive episode at the Academy. In the series, Five finally realizes that Vanya is the cause of the apocalypse and they regroup and go after her. They decide to confront her at her orchestra performance to try and stop her from causing the apocalypse. Allison attempts to confront her alone, but when the others attack, Vanya fully becomes the white violin. Klaus is finally able to use his powers and summon Ben to help them. While the guys all try attacking Vanya and fail, Allison is finally able to knock her out. As she passes out, she sends out a shot at the moon, blowing a huge chunk towards the earth. Five tells them their best shot is going back to the past to try to fix Vanya so she won't cause the apocalypse. And that's where the season ends. In the comic, Five sees that Vanya has powers through the use of the monocle. Diego gets to the theater first to confront Vanya. He is able to get a hold of her, but she disarms him by telling him she loves him. The others arrive and Allison tries to rumor her, but Vanya slices her throat. Luther picks up Allison and takes off, desperate to get her some help. Klaus has summoned a whole bunch of musicians to play against Vanya, as well as Hargreaves. Hargreaves distracts her by telling her what a failure she is and Five shoots her in the head. And it turns out that Klaus was only pretending to be Hargreaves, saying that he's too stubborn to be channeled by Klaus. Even though Vanya is shot, the concert still finishes blowing up the moon. Surprisingly, 
Klaus uses his powers to stop the chunk of moon from hitting the earth and saves them. In the end, Allison lives but is told she'll never talk again. And Vanya's life is saved, but she may never play the violin again. That brings us to the end of Season 1 of the Umbrella Academy. I've included links to the books and series in the description below, so definitely go check them out if you haven't yet, and give me your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this recap, and if you did, please click like, and be sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications to watch the Umbrella Academy Season 2 recap as soon as it's available. Thanks for watching.